Good morning. This is Bishop K.J. Brown, and I'm in the car this morning. It's Christmas Eve, and uh, just just wanted to give you a few words this morning. Uh, I was thinking about uh, Christmas meditation, and uh, it came to mind uh, something about Christmas that sometimes we don't think about. When we think about the traditions of Christmas, we know about when we see trees, we see Christmas presents, we go to the plays, we do all these sorts of things. We, we do our shopping, we do the good fr- the, the Black Friday sales and all of that. But uh, a simple thing about Christmas, it, it reminds me of bread. And I know that might seem strange, but I'm going to tell you why it reminds me of bread. The uh, prophecy of Jesus' birth is in the Old Testament in several places. And where it shows about his birth, it talks about uh, the fact that he would be born in Bethlehem. And uh, that's an important thing that reminds me about bread. Because um, we know that Bethlehem uh, ties into uh, uh, showing the place where Jesus was born and it, and that ties all the way from the New Testament. And then we can look in New Testament where we see the announcement of his birth and we see that he was born in Bethlehem. So we see the prophecy of his birth. We see the place of his birth being Bethlehem. But what does Bethlehem mean? Bethlehem is actually two words and Beth is house and Laham is bread. So Jesus being uh, the son being born, Emmanuel was actually the bread of life being born in the house of bread because Jesus said in, in what is it? John 6 and 35 that he is the bread of life. And he said, whoever come to him would not only would he not ever hunger, but he wouldn't thirst. And so when I think about Christmas, I, you know, all of the traditions and things, that's fine as long as we don't overdo it. But I think of bread because he is the bread of life. And if you taste of him, you will definitely be satisfied. Jesus, the bread of life. Have a blessing.